This feels weird because I now feel like I'm about to be interviewed on my own podcast. Oh, on my own. On my own. My own. <laughs> and there it <laughs> begins, ladies and gentlemen. He went into the house, just one of the lads, no, one of three of us. Our and he's podcast. come out of the house going, my own no, podcast. No. There's the first wedge. Because, <laughs> yeah, there's the first. I hate to tell you, lads, but I've been offered huge money to go out on my own. And I took literally seconds to think about it. And I'm going to go on my own. No, because if Me I turn, Nikita, ra- if I turn around to one eye. of you two and went, <laughs> can I interview you on On The Sofa? You'd be like, no, that's weird. So now it feels a bit weird. Yeah. But anyway. But it's meant to feel weird. Hi. It's nice to be back, by the way. Let's just take it right from the beginning. How did you survive without your phone in lockdown? So straight off, got picked up from my house in Manchester by an Uber. Um, On the way there. um, Long drive, obviously. Mm. Three and a half hours. About 20 minutes in. Taxi driver turns around and goes, do you mind if I smoke? Really? And I was like, yes, I do. I was like, please... Please, please don't. He was like, all right, well, can I stop to smoke? Oh. And I was like, I'd rather you stop than smoke in the car. Do you mind if I so smoke? then instantly my brain's going, is this a bad, is this, uh, is this a sign this saying a don't go in the house because the taxi driver wanted to smoke on the way there. Uh, but I got there, got there about half past 10 to a secret hotel um, on like the outside of Watford, I think. And then as soon as you get in, I you got, blindfolded at this point. You blindfolded, gagged, <laughs> and your hands are tied together. Clothes on. Um, as soon as I got there, meet everyone, see the welfare team. Hugs. Who's everyone? Not the other. Not the other no, contestants. No, So uh, I was greeted by Dan, who was the he- one of the heads of welfare. Okay. And I was greeted by Gavin, or someone all else. All in I your know. room. No, this was all in the hotel reception. Oh. But we got there early because he'd driven so quick. Okay. Um, so they were like, we need to get, we need to get Canada in quickly. We need to get Canada. That's in your quickly. code name. Canada was my code name. Canada Colson. We all had code names, which was countries. Yeah. So yeah, we need to get Canada wish, in quickly. Just reflecting quickly. Columbia. Do you, wish... mm. Do you not think Columbia would have been a good one? Columbia Colson. Columbia. Or Coulson. Cambodia. Cambodia. Canada's cool. Canada's fine. Canada's good. Did they? All, did you ask other housemates? And did Bra- it? Bradley had the best. What was what? Bradley? Bermuda. That's good. Bermuda's good. But because we had Lauren... I know David's. Go on. Denmark. Yeah. Yeah. Because we had Lauren, <laughs> Levi and Louis. It uh, was Latvia, Liechtenstein and... Luxembourg? Luxembourg. Luxembourg. Yes. There we go. Wild guess. Come on. Mm. Come on. I know my geography. When they kept getting your name <laughs> wrong in the house, do you wish your name was Canada? <laughs> I was going to say you can call me Canada if it's easier. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Let's just shorten it to Canada. So you're in to there. Be fair, you're I could have been Colchester. That could have been my code yeah, name, yeah, couldn't yeah. it? That would have been it great, have been. it? So you're in the hotel. Yes. They say everything's all right. We're going to tuck you up. Give me your phone. You get a chaperone. Uh, so the first... In the but, room so, with yeah, you? So no... At reception. So I'm greeted by welfare. I'm greeted by a couple of people who I recognise. And then they say, you're not going to see us now until five minutes before you go in the house. This is Scott. He's your chaperone. This is Scott? Yeah. So this Scott helps me to my room. We what go, do you mean helps you to your room? Carries gra- you? Grabs all my bags and everything. <laughs> Scott, can you carry me, please? No, because- he's your chaperone. He's not there to carry. No, I want to be carried. Because... I- he went, um, do, do you drink, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. I was like, no. He went, right, I'm really sorry, phone. And I went straight away. And he went, yeah. He went, send any last goodbye. Me-. And I said, I've done it. Because when I was five minutes from the hotel, yeah. I did, I did, did everything. I, I said my goodbyes to, I said goodbyes to people I needed to say goodbye to. Yep. Um, so phone went. Did we get a goodbye? I don't think yeah, we did. Yeah, he did. Yeah, we did. did, we did. And I spoke, I spoke. <laughs> we didn't reply. <laughs> I spoke to you on the phone. Oh, he spoke to me. Yeah, he spoke I, to I didn't me. He's trying to smoke. No, He's trying to smoke. Um, okay. <laughs> then so you, have to, you have to put it in an envelope and you have to sign over the envelope to prove that it's not been tampered been with. Tampered with. And, and that was the last I saw my phone. When you're taking your clothes out, is Scott yes. looking at your underwear and stuff like that? Oh, yeah, Scott for like contraband. Then, Scott had the worst task in the world. So basically, socks. I had to open everything out on the case, empty it one by one, and Scott had to do a itinerary breakdown mm. of what was in my cases. So item by item, as an individual mm. box of shorts, one and, sock in pairs yeah. of like everything, name, brand, size, description, condition, Why? because condition, <laughs> ropey, holy. <laughs> I would assume Guess it gone. in case <laughs> anything went missing. Grey. I would assume in case anything went missing. 
<laughs> but I'm not sure. But you're going to be with, with <laughs> you're in the, the house. house locked up. But get Who's this, gonna... Scott took four items off me. I like Scott. And I like Scott. I had a bit of a. There was a bit of back and forward about my hats. They, you know the gym shark cap that I yeah. wear. They uh, wouldn't let me have that brand, and they kept saying we're going to buy you a cap. But I was like, it's not, it's not, it's not the cap. It's the it's the fit of it. Because I was like, I'm funny about my hair, aren't yeah, I? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I was very cautious of that. So that took a bit of like back and forward. And in the end, I lost the battle. I wasn't allowed to have yeah. like I we coloured in a logo. I tried to tape it over. It just wasn't happening. So for me, I was already like, fuck. This is that's a nightmare because I'm going to have to go on TV with shit hair a lot of the time. Shit hair. Um, then they got rid of a couple of tops, bits like that, that all had branding on. Then we repacked. Scott signed the itinerary off. I signed the itinerary off. Then the execs came to do the exec back check. So everything came back out. They went through the list. And then stuff that Scott had said yes to, they, they were saying no. no to. So I lost mm. more and more so clothes. So was like, no, Scott. No, Scott, that cap of training. Lo I lost all my gym clothes because basically they were like anything that wasn't colour on colour gym shark, they, they made they got rid of. So then they had to go and buy me some like Primark gym stuff nice. because I had nothing nice. less. At one point I nearly lost all my socks. So it was just like it was just chaotic. Then they were like, okay, these bags are now gonna go. So you need to decide what you want for tonight in the hotel, mm. tomorrow night for launch night, and your first night in the house, and it all needs to fit in this your little bag. your little hand luggage. So I was like, right, okay. So they did that, said goodbye to the bags. How many eviction outfits did you need? I think you needed five. And they needed to be quite flamboyant. I didn't wear any. No, I just wear the and same even for the fucking even thing. for the final, I had like and out, I had an eviction outfit and I just was like, I'm just going to wear all black. Tuxedo. I'm just going to wear my joggers and just chill out. And to the point where Nick said to me, he was like, oh, she, it was an eviction night. And he was like, should me and you like dress up tonight? Should we put suits on so it feels like we're going out? And I was like, I haven't brought a suit with me. And he was like, what do you mean? Like, what are you going to wear if you're up for eviction or if you make the final? I was like, well, just one, I've not thought thing. about it. And two, just this. this. Yeah. Just yeah. Wasn't. Down to earth. Very down to earth. I got really nervous in the hotel after I did my mic and spoke to security and spoke to the execs and all that. When I was leaving the hotel, I started getting the shakes and I was like, fuck, I'm nervous, nervous. Got in the car and it was like a 20 minute drive and I was like, fine. So I don't know if I'd have gone straight Hold from on. the hotel to Are the you house. in the car? On the way to the house. Literally the car yeah. that would take you to the house? No. no. Oh. No. I can't. Okay, now, big build up this. So, <laughs> he's not even in. But, Jack, I got out and I knew. Was it Scott was like, they, 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 they've started calling people now. And I was like, okay. And then in, 10 minutes later, he was like, okay, they've called you. And I was like, I'm in early. And he was like, you are, but I can't tell you where. And I was like, I'm like, I'm second or third in here, aren't I? And he was like, about that. So, knew that we'd gone and then we all all these cars were parked up in a car park opposite the studio like massively spaced out and the doors would open lights would come in for makeup checks blah de, blah de, blah and they didn't call anyone for ages because obviously they had sharon and louis in and they had like 10 minutes to settle didn't they because they set them the task Oh, right. So yeah. we didn't see so you're waiting in a car park with all the, the contestants park. in the cars but that was good because i went really relaxed then and then it was like okay canada to travel so then we pulled out of the car park pulled onto the street got out of the car there was like people who weren't yes. inside like on the street spoke to them said goodbye gave scott a hug said thank you very much for looking after me went in went into the back of the bmw and got in the back of the bmw and i was like hang on you drive and reverse and he went uh, all day uh, he went all day he went i drive at five mile an hour he was like, I, it, and it was like oh, 10 yards. And he was like, and then I reverse back. So, it, yeah, and it was like, you don't get out of the car till security opened the door for you. Boom, you're on. And it, as soon as I was in the car, he was like, mate, you, you're about to go. And I was like, okay, cool. And then I heard my voice and it was my VT. And I was oh, like, oh, right, the plane. And then it was just blur. From then on, I was like, it's in. So they open the door, you walk out, you get on the stage with Will and AJ. You're seeing these people and I was like, shit. And I remember 
Um, Will was like, Colson, you're an actor. Are you planning on using your acting skills when you're in the house? And I was like, fuck, this is like, this is this Big is Brother and yeah, this, yeah, is a, this is a it. game and this is it. And I was like, shit. And now I was like, well, well, no, I'm not. Like, I went, in terms of acting, for me, this is three weeks off work. Like, I'm just coming to yeah. be myself for a yeah, bit. Good. And then I saw my mum and dad bang opposite me oh, in the shouting. audience. We love you. It, it did but, feel like that, like, at times... It was the last time you'd ever be seen. Yeah, it, like we he, love you. Like he was getting in a rocket and he was off to the moon. Yeah, I like and how, actually, it's yeah. one of those missions in a movie when you go, it's so long, he won't be coming back. So it, the journey is so long, yeah. he'll be 80 yeah. when it was, he lands. Yeah. It was like I was doing something that had never been done by anyone before. The moon landing. <laughs> yeah. The moon landings. Yeah. Your mum's there crying. Your dad's looking, what am I doing? Not what, asked. What, not yeah, asked. Not What's asked. happened Don't even think I got life? a wave. I think my mum was like that and I think my dad was like... Yeah. Um, so, wave. And obviously I'd not spoken to them for two days because I'd had no contact. Oof. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is um, that the first time you've not spoken to your mum? Yeah, yeah, definitely. And then, I don't know if this aired... So then you turn and you get so many briefings in the hotel, you forget everything. So I turn, walk into the lift, the door's shut. And it goes and down. I'm going, and I'm going, this is fucking mental. And then I was like thinking, I was waiting for the doors to open. And then this cameraman tapped on the window and was like, face the other way. And the door was open. So I don't know how long it been open. So I was like, oh, fuck. Oh yeah, we heard him say that. What? I heard him say that. Straight, yeah. straight. Uh, First thing so I, we went, oh fuck. Because yeah. I was like, that I had a I just mate, had a yeah, yeah, cameraman going did. behind you. And I was like, sorry. Um, so yeah, straight in the house. And then I walk in and I see Nikita and I see Ekin Sue and I was like, hi, I'm on the third person in. And then it was just like, bump. <laughs> <laughs>